Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Christine of Side Street Market and I am bringing you a two-part haul video. So you have been shopping with me at Jeff's Antique Mall. Sadly, Jeff's Antique Mall is closing. Um, it will be under new management starting March 2021. Um, it's been a great place to shop. I've enjoyed shopping there. I'm happy that someone else is taking it over. So it will still be a place to shop. And if you're watching this before March 1st, 2021, the store is probably still 50% off until uh, March. But yeah, I have two hauls for you. And this first part is going to be my smalls and some linens. So I'm going to take you through all the little smalls I got. And I did buy about 30, 35 handkerchiefs and stuff while I was shopping. So what I did was I split that between this video and the next one. And that is going to be at the end. And I'll let you know when that part comes up. So if you're not really into linens and handkerchiefs, you guys can just hop off. And if you're just here for the smalls, that will be the whole beginning. So let's go ahead and let's dive into this one. So first off, I got some Joseph Originals. Now this little one just says uh, Japan Hand Painted. Coronet is the name. And it may not be, but it looks like a Joseph Original to me. Now the only little condition she had is I think one of her little petals was chipped right there. But otherwise she was really cute. She's only about like three inches tall. So she's a little girl. I just loved her gold detailing. So I grabbed her. And all of these little figurines, the little Josephs I'm going to show you, are all going to be in my Etsy shop. And I am trying to, guys, now before you see the haul videos, because I actually film these probably two or three weeks ahead of time, I'm working really hard that anything I'm going to put in my Etsy shop to have it listed and ready to drop before the video airs. So if you want, you can go ahead and check the Etsy first. And if you don't see something you can go ahead and message me or it'll pop up in a live sale. So here's the little girl first and all that info is down below in the description. And then I got some of the Joseph birthday month girls. So this one is April and she's got her little birthstone. And this one does still have her original label and all of her labeling on the bottom. She's in perfect condition. And I actually think I accidentally got two of them. And I didn't realize it. But this one doesn't have her labels. And this one looks just a little bit faded compared to the other one. But I do have two of the April month in case you know two people who have a birthday in April. And again, these are about like four inches tall. So I thought those were cute. And so the months I got were April, June, August. And you guys are going to have to help me with this last one because her month is worn off. And I'm not sure what she is, but she has like a blue birthstone. So there's this little girl. And you guys may hear Holly in the background. She wants her morning treats, but it's not time yet. And then this one is June. Pearl by Joseph. Look how pretty. All the airbrushing. And these are all in great condition. They all have their fingers. This one actually has its little tag still. I mean, the front of the tag is a little worn, it's a little aged, but this one actually still has its original tag with it. Don't mind me, just making room. And then the last one I got is August with the beautiful green dress. So I have four blue dresses, one burgundy and one green. And she's got her little flower. So those are all cute. And then... I got things for those of you who love Cupies, the Piano Babies. I went crazy with the Piano Babies, guys, and I got you four Piano Babies. First off is this little girl. She is just so cute. I do need to get some sticker stuff off of her. She looks like she may have actually had some repair now that I look at her from the back, but it's hard to tell because it doesn't... Yeah, I just realized she has had repair, guys. Her bottom says C4909, but what I just realized, and you can't, like, I didn't tell in looking at her at first, because it was done very well, but she has had a head reattachment. But it was done quite well, so it, you only notice it really when you turn her around. But she would be still totally cute in a little vignette or something. So I may save her for a live sale. I might put her online. I'm not sure yet. 
And then I got a little bit of a bigger one. This one just says Japan. This little boy is playing with a little ball and he's sitting on, oh, he's actually sitting on a glove and playing with a ball and he actually has a safety pin on his diaper. Look at him. I'm checking him over. He has crazing, but he does not look like he has had any head repair. I'm just trying to double check here. But yeah, look at his cute little face. So that one's a good one too. Then there's this little girl and this little girl, it says Japan, her hands are in perfect condition, but she kind of reminds me of a Joseph with the eyes. See what I mean? A little bit, probably not a Joseph, but just a cute little, and she's got her little tush. But she's just like, I don't want to do what you're telling me to do. I protest. And now this one is definitely going to be in my Etsy shop. And I may actually even put this on my eBay as an auction because I am starting to list on eBay too now, guys. So I have Etsy and eBay. Okay. This is for all of you Cupie and Poodle lovers out there. I did pay up a bit for this one, so I will have a higher starting price on it, but I couldn't leave it. It's in. Per it looks like it's in almost perfect condition. There looks like there is a little cracking on the seam down here, but it doesn't look like it fell off and was repaired. You guys can kind of, I don't know if you can see that. Like right down in here, it could just be from age. It looks like there's a little bit, but there's the bottom. It just says, this is probably like a leptin or a narco or something, but I just, I went back and forth on this one. And then I was like, there's enough of you out there that love poodles and that love the little cupies that I thought I would take a chance on him and not leave him behind. So that is that little cutie for you guys. And then I, I got into the glass, guys. I got into the uh, paperweights for you. And these, I definitely will be listing all these glass items on eBay and Etsy. Um, because they are heavier, there is shipping involved. So first up, I have a labeled Murano duck. It's purple and clear. So this is a purple and clear Murano paperweight. So I did pick that up. And then this one is not labeled, but it is a really cute amber glass squirrel. And I thought this would be fun for the fall. You guys might like this. It's got a nice quality to it. I'm gonna have to Google to see if this might be a Murano piece. I don't know guys, cause I'm new to this and I'm learning, but I just thought it was really cute. And then this one I was actually surprised was labeled, oh, it's actually etched in it. It says Gobel. So this is a glass, or it might be crystal, a Gobel lamb. It's got some heft to it. So that's why I'm putting all of these online rather than in the live sales, just so you guys can know what shipping would be because these do have weight to them being glass. Then this is just an art glass piece. It was labeled as a crystal owl. I don't know how to definitely tell the difference between crystal and glass, but I did grab this guy. So in the shop, it was labeled as a crystal owl, so I'm gonna have to do some research and see if other people have this style. Now this last one, I'm torn on listing. I may not list this one. <laughs> Am I seeing a mark? Or I'm just seeing through it. This one says made in Sweden. So this is Sweden glass and I'm torn because it's a cat. And you guys know I love cats and I, I do collect cats, but I've, I've not collected the glass cats, but this is a vintage glass cat with applied green eyes. And it's even got some green in the ears in the glass. So this one I'm torn on because I did pay up on this one. It does have a little like bruise on the side there. Like someone, I'm probably going to end up listing it just cause I can't keep everything. I just thought it was really cool. I might hold on to it through St. Patrick's day cause I don't have any St. Patrick's day and just do a little tiny display right there and then put it up for sale afterwards. Okay. Then I got some salt and pepper shakers. And these will be in a live sale in time for Easter. These will probably be in my February live sale with Lori. 
Blue Flamingo Mercantile. And I don't know if you guys will be seeing this video before that, so they may be sold by then. But they are a set of little Japan rabbits. I thought these would be perfect for someone's little vignette or tiered tray. And then I picked these up. They're squirrel. They're salt and pepper shakers. Now, I know these guys are supposed to be on something, but I thought I would list these on eBay as replacement hanging squirrels because maybe someone has the limb and one of their squirrels broke or they lost the squirrels. And plus, they're just cute. Look at those big eyes. And this one does have a little chip right there, but still, I just... And the white, that's their ears. That's not damage on the sides. So I grab them. Okay. These next six items, my dog people are going to go crazy. And I know it. <laughs> um, I'm thinking these ones, I'm going to get listed up on my Etsy for you guys before this video. So I can have the pricing for you. Because these are really cute. Um, okay. So first up, we have an original art mark made in Japan. Are you ready for this puppy? Look at this. I think this is a boxer. But it is, it is a good size, guys. Like this is at least four inches tall. It does have a little, a little bit of rub right there. And there's one or two spots where like there's a little rub, but Otherwise, it's in really great condition. And this guy will probably be priced in the $14 to $16 range. I'm just letting you know because it is a bigger one and it is a harder dog to find. And it is super cute. It's very lightweight though, so it's a beautiful Japan piece. Then I found this little guy whose label you can't recognize anymore. It's gold. It says M637. And I'm almost wondering if this is a little Joseph Spaniel. So this is a little tiny spaniel. It'll probably be six to eight dollar range once I once I do some research on it. It's because it is in beautiful condition. Beautiful, perfect condition. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Okay. Then I have this collie. That is, it might be a Japan piece, but it's a beautiful glazed collie. And this guy will be probably in the $8 to $12 range. I just have to, like I said, do some research. There is no label on it, but it is in perfect condition. And they had lots of collies at the, the antique mall, but this was the only one that with the 50% I could even possibly get for you guys without it being too crazy expensive to sell it to you. So I have the Collie. And then if you love the Spaniels, this is a beautiful Japan Spaniel. This one will probably be the $8 to $10 range as well. Lovely glazing. I just... And this one's probably about 3 inches tall by 4 inches long. So these are bigger ones than what I've had in like my dog sale. And the quality is better. Now these next two will be the $10 to $12 range. Um, because they are really, really, like this is, I think, a little basset hound. Beautiful condition. A bigger guy, probably four inches tall by four inches wide. Probably $10 on this one. Look at the detail on that face. So like I said, guys, if you're watching the video, be sure to check out my Etsy. It's linked below. Go to the figurine section. If you don't see the dogs on there, you can message me. They, I may not have gotten them listed yet, but I'm going to try to get them listed ahead of time for you. And then this last, last little guy will be in that $10 to $12 range again. Just beautiful, beautiful condition. All right, guys. Well, we are about 14 minutes into the video, and I'm going to switch over and now show all the linens that I got. So if you're not into handkerchiefs and linens, then thank you for watching the video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed because I have more hauls and shop with me's coming for you. And if you are into the linens, let's dive in. And again, I'm going to work to get these up on my Etsy before this video goes up. We will see how I do. Otherwise, you may see some of these popping up in a live sale. So the first one is this beautiful, it feels kind of silky to me. It's this beautiful red kerchief that I think would look really cute like 
you know, like tied up in the hair. I can't really do it this right now. I'm going to model like my lovely friend Kim at Oh My Vintage did with her live sale, putting all the pretty ribbons in her hair. But I just thought this was really pretty. I don't know what the pattern is on this. It's like a navy and white. And I it looks, I have no idea. But there's no maker. Um, it looks like there used to be a tag in the corner here that has long gone. But yeah, so there's that one. And these kerchiefs will probably be like, the bigger ones will probably be in like the eight range and the little ones will be in like the three to four. It just depends if I can find them and figure out if like they're silk or then there's this one that again is really, really cute for spring. It's a nice little handkerchief. It's in pretty condition. I liked the yellow colors on it. Then this is a little delicate guy. I think it's, it's white and I just like the embroidery on it. So this would be one of the ones that would probably be like $4, $3 because it's smaller. This one I got for the lace on it. And then sadly when I got home, I realized the lace is starting to give way a little. And it does have a few spots where it needs some love. Like there is, you can see from being folded for so long, there is some tearing. But I don't know if someone can use this for a project because it does have like the beautiful little embroidered rose on the end. And I'm afraid to wash this one, guys, because it's so, so much older. And I thought that this would be, you know, I just liked the black. And here you can see like on the very bottom, I don't know if you can see that, the black lace is starting to fall apart a little. So this one I would probably just do a couple of dollars on because I'm, I'm hoping someone can repair it and maybe use it for like a decorative piece like over a lampshade or something. And then this, I'm probably going to lot these two together because they kind of go together. So this is a yellow with an orange. And then this is a brown with the yellow. So I would probably lot these two together. The yellow is bigger and I, I would probably do like $6, five to $6 for the pair. So I will be lotting some of these together. Here's another one. I love the pink and black. It's baby pink and black, just a beautiful doily. I would probably lot that one with this one because it is pink and black floral. So I had fun, like you, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the day I was shopping all of these, I was literally sitting on the floor just digging through a bucket. And at one point I was like, you know, it's 50% off. I just grabbed the whole Ziploc bag and I said, and they just gave me a bulk price on the Ziploc bag at 50% off because now this one, I wish I had had for a live sale for you guys in February, but I didn't. So I'm going to try to maybe put this into a March live sale. It does have a little staining on it, but again, guys, I am really afraid to treat these and to wash these ones because they are so delicate and they probably need to be done by hand. But there's that one. And then these will be a lot because they are like duplicates. And I think I have a couple of each of them, yeah. So, okay, so I'm gonna show you one. So this little guy, which is super cute, I actually have in this grouping I'm showing you, I have three of this identical with the pink coloring. So I do have one, two, three of those. So that's kind of easy for Etsy. I photograph one and put quantity I have, but then, so that's kind of like a peachy pink. I also have it in a pink pink. And I thought spring, these would be really pretty for spring. So I have two of those. And then I also have it in blue guys. So if you're not into the pinks, and this would look cute like on a dresser, under a little trinket dish, you know, I'm sure you guys could come up with decorations for it. And then I have three more for you. This one I'm going to sell separate because it's just a real pretty large floral one. So I've not really gotten into the handkerchiefs and stuff before, but I thought this would be a fun chance. This one does have a little bit of staining on it. 
Holly is throwing tantrums this morning, guys. And it's from kind of where it was folded. But I just liked the look of this, like the scalloped and the tree and the blossoms. There is a little bit of yellowing in the center from where it was held. But if you know how to treat these, you know, maybe soak it in the sink a little bit with a little bit of the um, OxyClean. I just, I'm afraid to damage them, so I am not washing these. And then this one is actually very like 70s, 80s retro kitchen to me. And I love it with all the little mushrooms and onions and peppers. But that that is part one, guys. That concludes the first half of this antique clearance mall haul. So I hope you enjoyed the littles and the handkerchiefs. And if you did, be sure to stay tuned because in a couple of days, I'll have part two out with my bigger items and the second half of the linens. So thanks again for watching, guys. Remember to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and leave your comments below. I love to hear from you, and I'll be back with you soon.